Hey, what's going on? It's Scott. I'm a former police officer, and I'm sure by now you have seen the video of the ex-police chief in Monongo, West Virginia, totally lose his mind and act way out of line when he tried to stop a lady for an expired tag. Why is the chief of police stopping someone for an expired registration plate? Check this out. You all at my window, I swear to God, I'll shoot you. Look, Get I'm, I'm getting all this on tape. Get out of the court. Look, he pulling a gun. This, Dad, this for Dad, the. Get that on video. Get out of the car. She took off on me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Go f yourself. All right, when I came across this story on social media, the first thing I noticed before I even watched the video was the chief's appearance. He's not in uniform. The lady asked for identification from him, verifying that he was a police officer, to which I don't think that's unreasonable at all for her to do, considering he was wearing a t-shirt that had police on the back, but on the front, from what I could tell, there was no badge on it. But it is what it is. In my opinion, physical fitness for police officers should not be optional, in my opinion. And I'm not trying to be mean, but he looks sloppy. And it's best not to look sloppy when you're at work in the performance of your duties. But in addition to that, say she did lead him on some high-speed chase. You just don't walk up to the car like that and then get temperamental towards the person to a point of just pointing your gun to what appears to me to just be to intimidate her, to make a point to her. He doesn't appear to be in fear of his life because... You heard what he just said. He looked away at someone yelling at him and said, go F yourself. This solidifies the point that he is taking it personal and he has lost all professional bearing. Get out of the car. Look, Father God, you dispel this evil in Jesus' name. Get out of the car. I am a law enforcement officer. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Go f yourself. You don't know. F Get out of the car. Get out of the car. All right. Here we are. He's walking away from the car. Like if she was a threat and he needed to point his gun at her, um, why is he walking away and turning and putting his back towards the person? Like I said, he just pulled his gun out because he was ticked off and wanted to intimidate her. That's what I believe. And here's what he does next. If you're thinking about getting into law enforcement or you're new to law enforcement, trust me when I say that if time's on your side, to which it is in this chief's case, like the lady's not going anywhere, wait for backup and try a different approach to something if they're not being cooperative. But needless to say, yes, he pushed it to a level where it didn't need to go. I get that. I just wanted to throw in that advice. I highly doubt that what you see right there with ex-police chief is doing. I highly doubt he was trained to do that in the academy while waiting on backup. Help! I'm being assaulted! Help Don't me! Help me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Don't grab me! Get off of me! Get off of me now! Obviously a royal screw up. What the heck was he thinking? Look, I like to give advice to new officers or those getting into the profession. If you find yourself starting to lose control, then you have to have the discipline to pull back. See, one of the best pieces of advice that I got early on in my career was someone is not trying to be defiant to you. Someone is not trying to be a smart aleck to you. Someone is not trying to be violent towards you. They're violent or they're defiant or they're uncooperative, whatever the case is, to the uniform. So you can't take it personal. But at the same time, even if someone is attacking you personally, you have to have discipline to maintain as calm as you can be and professional. I believe that this chief let his ego get in the way and the more she didn't comply, he was in fear of losing control 
and he got more angry by that. Therefore, his professionalism went out the door and he started yelling these vulgar things, all while pointing his gun at this lady for no legitimate reason, in my opinion. It's me interrupting my own video because I was just about to upload the original recording and then I came across an article from the Times West Virginian where it states that there is a civil lawsuit against the chief himself, well, the ex-chief himself, and the town of Monongah. And in that same article, I read that the previous police chief of Monongah is in jail on a stalking charge. Oh my God. Gosh, needless to say, the town of Monongah, in my opinion, and I think everybody else's opinion, should really reconsider their hiring practice for a new police chief. But I've also seen comments that she should have just cooperated. Okay, here's my take on that. I worked in law enforcement from 2007 to 2022. And as the years went on, it was no surprise when people didn't cooperate. But any good law enforcement officer who takes their job seriously professionally, as well as has some level of emotional intelligence, is not just going to take something so personal and lose their total bearing about themselves at all. It takes some emotional intelligence. He exhibited none of that and therefore started cussing at people, pointing his gun at someone who did not appear to be a threat of serious bodily injury and or death to himself or others around. He was in the wrong. Got to think big picture here as to how law enforcement officers should be. Back to my original recording. What kind of chief of police yells, go F yourself to someone who's concerned about what's going on? So if you're in law enforcement, I encourage you to continue to work on your mindset day in and day out. Take care of yourself. Keep training. Keep learning. Know what you can and cannot do like on traffic stops. That way you can show up that much better for others because I don't think when this guy started his law enforcement career, he, you know what? I look forward to the day when I can totally act like a fool, lose my temper on a woman. I believe he was thinking that. This was just bad. And I'm glad he's fired. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Click the like button below and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to talking to you again. Take care and may God bless.